Right, so this video goes along with the 1.1 B notes page as well. Okay, we're going to talk about intervals notation, uh, which is a little bit different than set notation, but what you'll see in, in, the, in the examples we're going to go over here in a little bit, this would be considered interval notation, and then these are set notation. Okay, so this will be some good practice to uh, kind of review the set notation stuff we talked about earlier. Okay, first thing we need to do is define what an open interval is and what a closed interval is and the notation that goes along with both of those, okay? So, an open interval. If A is less than B, then the open interval from A to B consists of all numbers between A and B, but not including A and B, all right? It's open, so it doesn't go all the way to A on the, on the left side. It doesn't go all the way to B on the right side, okay? So the notation we would use for that, because A and B are not included, we're going to have parentheses uh, as our kind of grouping symbols here, all right? So parentheses A means A is not part of the interval, and then B followed by parentheses means B is not part of the interval, okay? Because the interval is open. A closed interval, if A is less than B, then the closed interval from A to B consists of all numbers between A, a and B inclusive, okay? Inclusive here means A is part of the interval, and so is B, okay? Because they're part of the interval, because they are included in the interval, it makes it closed, but it also changes our notation. If A is part of the interval, then we're going to use brackets to precede it. If B is part of the interval, we're going to use brackets to follow that. Okay, notice the difference between the notation. A is not included in this interval. A is included here. The difference is parentheses and brackets. Okay? So we've got a lot of different ways here. Uh, that we could express an interval, okay? So we've already talked about this interval, this open interval A to B, okay? Well, to write that in set notation, we would say all X such that A is less than X is less than B, okay? Notice A is not part of that, so there's not an or equal to as part of the inequality symbol here. B is not included, so no or equal to there, okay? So a graphic representation for that because A and B are not included, we've got open circles over A and B, okay? So that uh, interval is going to be every value between A and B, okay? The closed interval from A to B, our set notation X such that A is less than or equal to X, which is less than or equal to B, okay? They're included, so the or equal to has to be part of the inequality symbol, and the graph is going to change slightly. Now the open circles over A and B have become closed because those values are included in the set, okay? In this interval, A is included, but B is not. So we're going to change it just a little bit. Notice the bracket tells us that A is part of the, the interval. The parentheses here tells us that B is not. So set notation, all X such that A is less than or equal to X, which is less than B, okay? So our graphic representation, uh, closed circle over the A, open circle over the B, okay? If we reverse the notation here, A is not part of the interval, but B is. So notice the inequality symbols change. All right. And the circles over the A and B will change as well. A is not part of the interval, so open circle. B is part of the interval, so closed circle. All right. Uh, from A to positive infinity. This is the symbol for infinity. It kind of looks like a sideways 8. Okay. Um, because you've got parentheses here, A is not part of the interval. Positive infinity and negative infinity will always be followed by or preceded by parentheses, okay? Infinity is not a real number, so you can't have a bracket there, okay? So, uh, we're going from A to positive infinity, so that means all X such that X is greater than A, not equal to, okay? Because A is not part of the interval, and our graph would look like this. Open circle over the A, going infinitely to the right, if we change the parentheses to a bracket, it just means A is included. So the circle becomes closed. Okay. If we're going from negative infinity to B, with parentheses after it, it means X is going to be less than B. So all X such that X is less than B. Not included, so an open circle moving infinitely to the left. It'd probably be good if there were an arrow here, but it doesn't have to be there. That's fine. Okay. Uh, from negative infinity to positive B, or to B, uh, inclusive means B is part of that, so the or equal to has to be there. So all X, such that X is less than or equal to B. 
All right, so close circle over that. And then the set of all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity is the set of all real numbers. So it's just all of the number line. Okay, so that's interval notation there. All right, so let's express these intervals in terms of inequalities. Okay, that's kind of like set notation. And then we're going to graph on a real number line. Okay, I'm not going to do an exact number line. I'm going to refer back to the stuff we did before. So this interval consists of the numbers from negative 5 to positive 3, including po negative 5, excuse me, but not including 3. Okay, so the set notation would be x such that negative 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 3. And then our number line would look like this, okay, where a is negative 5 and b is positive 3. Okay, pause the video, try to do b and c on your own. Refer back to the table up here if you need to uh, for reference, okay? And then come back and check your work. Okay, uh, for B, we've got the interval from 3.6, not including 3.6, to 5.8. And that includes 5.8 because of the bracket, okay? So our set notation would be all x such that 3.6 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 5.8. And our graph would look like this, where A is 3.6 and B is 5.8, okay? And then finally here we've got from negative 8, including negative 8, to positive infinity. So we would say all x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 8, okay? And then our graph would look like this, where A is negative 8, okay? So negative 8 here, and we're greater than that, so we're going forever to the right toward positive infinity, okay? So that's how you kind of use interval notation with set notation. They're interchangeable, okay? And you have to be able to graph those on a real number line.